Hey, what's up, everyone? Here we are. I uh, want to take another look at uh, this Teal Gardens back nine here with some different winds. So one of the things you'll see, I'm going off this middle island here, kind of judging where the pin is. And maybe I'm going to try to go a little centered into this fairway with that pin. I'm thinking somewhere right around there. And you can also see that I just used a top spin ball. It should be able to stop short on a wind like that. Alternatively, you know, you could go bronze T and just kind of no top spin. Let's say it was a little bit more of a tailwind. You should be able to just kind of modify your shot based off of what you see. Now with this one, <clears throat> you need to kind of think about what to do here. A couple different decisions. I can go two iron and try to get the land distance down. I could, I, I really can't go this because there's not enough green to roll up. Similarly, I can go six wood, try to gently bring it up that way because it'll, what, what's nice about the six wood is it'll just kind of creep up that hill. Whereas with the, uh, Two iron, we'd have to be thinking something along the lines of a sniper, just try to get the land zone, or, um, you know, not the greatest pin for a backspin ball. Super backspin is going to come back too far, and um, grabber is just going to kind of stop, and it's going to take one bounce and not a lot of run out on an upslope. So, with that in mind, I'm thinking something along the lines of a six wood just trying to intentionally land out to the left in terms of my land zone i'm feeling like i probably lose a couple yards on this hole i'm thinking maybe four or so four or five from what i've seen so if my typical land for six wood is 229 i'm thinking maybe 225 I need to get this into the 190s. It's going to scoot forward a little bit um, in terms of how much. I'm not exactly sure. I'm thinking maybe five-ish yards. So I almost have to land this somewhere in the neighborhood of 195. If, nat if natural 100% is going to land at, say, about 225 with the side wind, give or take, um, i got to come off 10% to get down to 200. And then probably... An extra two to three percent, maybe three percent. And one of the things that is good about this shot, like I was mentioning, is it's not really going to uh, roll out too far, so it's going to be very controlled. So I'm going to take off about this is almost what I would probably consider 13, maybe just a little bit more than 13, maybe 13 and a quarter and a half, just by judging on the. Just kind of the way that that spatially looks inside that box there so other than that here let's see how this comes in distance is a little tighter so i was off by about probably a percent there um, one less percent a percent and a half less it would have came in perfect so we're talking about one yaw one percent being about uh, eight feet or so in that case seven to eight feet and, um, you know, we want it to come through just a little bit so it has momentum. So maybe taking off a percent and a half from that in that situation. But that's just something that you can kind of make mental note of. And next time that we play the hole, for instance, you know, we can just kind of know, well, with a side wind at 199, you know, it was basically perfect for... 81 and a half percent give or take so if the wind's in the face or downwind a little bit we can kind of use that as kind of our standard to kind of go off of now i'm going to split these up i'll catch you guys on these next one momentarily